Brian Lawson. I'm a design engineer. I'm the founder of Sapira Anesthesia Innovations. We build life critical anesthesia equipment for the veterinary market. Um, we started off uh, about 18 years ago uh, doing design engineers for uh, the high tech companies Intel, HP, uh, around the uh, Silicon Forest here in the Portland area, and uh, really focused on the medical industry because it was so strong as far as the economy goes. I was very interested in something that was uh, very uh, helpful to society as far as animals and pets, so the veterinary industry was real attractive to me. Uh, after looking at the veterinary industry, I decided that uh, as far as anesthesia goes, it's always a copycat of the human thing, human industry, and that's not necessarily great for uh, the technicians that are using the equipment because they're often complicated and over-engineered for anesthesiologists. Uh, so with that, I took the challenge of developing a veterinary only or veterinary purpose built anesthesia machine and bring it into the market with the quality standards and the quality manufacturing that I brought over from uh, the aerospace industry and also from working with the high tech industry uh, where the tolerances are so exact and uh, the materials are very difficult and uh, applying it to the veterinary industry. Again, it's a life critical product. Uh, the product uh, these types of products in the industry, their life, uh, the lives of pets are critical. I mean, they're very much um, in jeopardy if the product does not operate correctly. I have a lot of friends that are in the veterinary industry. Mm -hmm. uh, so when I started my company, I started looking for uh, specific things that I wanted to get into. What did I really want to pour my heart into and develop a, a whole company based around that, that love? Um, I'd said before I'd worked with the aerospace industries and worked with other industries, high-tech industries, but there's something about the veterinary medical industry, there's something good about it. it you're, you're helping save puppies and kittens' lives. How bad can it be? Uh, so we take that, that passion for the engineering and a passion for the industry that we're in, and uh, that really keeps me dr driven forward in what I do. Our industry, the, the veterinary industry, uh, is is an amazing industry to be into because the population growth of pets is increasing every single year and the amount of, of dollars that we can equate to that are, is increasing even faster. Um, it's not a monetary thing, it's like people value their pets more and more every single year for the last decade we've been monitoring this. Uh, so it really shows a passion for people with that uh, human-animal bond and how strong that is and how it enriches people's lives and they're willing to pay for that and to keep that going. With that, it's very important that the veterinarians have uh, life-critical equipment that is the highest standards and the highest quality. And Sapira, we're doing that. We're giving them the safety of the equipment, the quality of the equipment, so that when these animals come in, they know they have the best possible equipment out there and the safest equipment out there. Obviously, going to the trade shows and getting, getting out there and being seen is one avenue that we do, but probably the best thing that we do is come up every year, year after year, coming up with new, innovative devices, better ways of doing things, safer ways of uh, having a product function. That's the probably the, the most critical thing out there. We're doing things that no other company is doing. And that is having a, an effect where the customer, when we show them that product, they look at it and they go, that's fantastic, nobody else has thought about it, it's a problem and you've addressed it, where can I buy your product? We're constantly getting testimonials and getting customers that are uh, finding us either by web or through trade shows or through distribution, uh, contact, contacting us directly and asking questions, do you have this? And uh, generally, if we don't have that and it's a great idea, we'll make it. Because we have, a, again, that capability to do everything in-house, uh, an extremely short amount of time, and uh, very high quality. The product, uh, the conventional methods of delivering uh, anesthetic gases to the pet uh, has been around for uh, probably since the turn of the century, turn of the last century. Uh, since then, we've had new technologies for uh, acquiring oxygen. In oxygen recently, in the last uh, several years, the cost has gone up tremendously. Uh, it's a uh, it's some somewhat of a difficult product to uh, get distribution on, and it's usually more expensive because of the distribution transport uh, costs are very expensive. So, if we can deliver the product uh, closer to the end use, then that's obviously going to be a cost savings. 
uh, and that's where we're going. So we're taking the old model of uh, delivering the oxygen to the veterinarian and giving them the ability to have it in their hands themselves. Growing the capabilities and uh, in both personnel and equipment uh, has been something that we've been working on for uh, many, many years and we're finally up to that point where we have key personnel, the key equipment to be able to manufacture, prototype, uh, test, and uh, continue on with our innovation and engineering to build our products uh, up to the level, the highest quality level we possibly can right in our facility, uh, right here in the United States. Uh, for me, that's really uh, an important factor and allows us to be reactive, allows us to innovate with new devices. We're not copying other companies out there and what's the status quo. We're generating new products in the market that have never been used before. Relying on others to take up the challenge of developing these life critical products and getting them to market, explaining the quality, explaining the passion of innovation, and taking these into the market and saying, this isn't just another anesthesia device. This is something new. This is something that is much safer. It's higher quality, uh, something you haven't seen before. And getting that passion across through uh, distribution channels or through uh, di just working with the, the customer base out there, allowing them essentially to see that they should expect more in a medical industry uh, like ours. In the last 10 years, we've seen an amazing explosion of software that's allowed us to be innovative and uh, able us to design and re revolutionize essentially how we manufacture things. Uh, it has allowed us to do rapid prototyping, uh, do finite element analysis of, of critical parts for structure, for strength, for durability, uh, before we even go to the point where we're doing any kind of manufacturing. We do everything modeled in 3D on the computers and test them internally. Uh, from there, we can essentially, if we can think about it, we can build it. Uh, utilizing uh, the new oxygen technologies that have come along uh, in the last few years, uh, getting those into our market through our machines is the next big leap in veterinary anesthesia equipment. We're going to be revolutionizing how anesthesia is used in our industry. Uh, it's already taking place in Europe to some degree, but in the United States, no one else has even thought about doing this. We're very excited about taking the new technology and incorporating it into our designs uh, in a safe and easy to use device. I'm very driven by design innovations in the medical, in the automotive industry, in aircraft manufacturing. Uh, these are wonderful new technologies and I like seeing how uh, design engineers are taking these new technologies and incorporating them quickly into new designs. It's not taking 15 years to develop something new. It's something we're seeing this year and implementing it next year. Uh, I love seeing that kind of change and we're, we're trying to bring that into the veterinary medical uh, equipment industry. Um, some of the great inventors of our time, uh, Dean Kamen, uh, is a fantastic inventor. Uh, most people don't know who he is, but you know what he does. Uh, the Segway portable transport, uh, the vascular stents and uh, to help people with uh, heart problems or with uh, vascular problems, uh, portable kidney dialysis machines he invented, uh, and then most recently the uh, automated uh, um, artificial limb that he's developed for our uh, military veterans coming back from war. Uh, lifelike, you can pick up little raisins and it knows that you're picking up a raisin or you're picking up a bolt, you know, you're picking up a bolt. These are very technologically difficult things to do and it's wonderful to see someone that is taking all the feedback that you can get from technology and incorporating it into something so important as an artificial limb that works. Uh, my other is obviously Steve Jobs. He, he takes 
the most difficult and complex devices. It makes them so simple to use and so easy to use. One button. How many buttons do we really need on a device? Generally, Steve says about one. 